Well, the Gemini Nano Banana Pro model is not just available in the Gemini app and website versions. The same model is also accessible via Google Flow. So basically, you can generate a picture using this model. And not to mention, right here in Google Flow, there is actually a set of annotation tools, which means you can specify what area or what element in the picture that you want to modify. So that means you can change the picture accurately and it is going to be a lot more precise because you can pinpoint the area or the thing that you want to modify. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate a picture using the Nano Banana Pro, Pro model in Google Flow alongside with how you can use this amazing uh, annotation tool in the platform. So let's get into it. Let's navigate to Google Flow. Uh, this is the URL labs.google slash fx slash flow and you can start a new project or perhaps you can also open an existing project that you have on your account now after that to create a picture using the nano banana pro model you can click this and just like create image and after that you can describe the picture that you want to generate so this is my prompt and after that you can click settings and you can adjust the aspect ratio right now there's only two options landscape or portrait and there's also the option to choose how many images that you want to generate per one generation i think for me i'll just use one picture that's totally fine and for the model you can use nano banana pro but uh, even though it says that it is zero credit i heard that eventually if you are using it too much it will go back to nano banana model which is still good but it is not going to be as great as the uh, pro version now after that let me just continue and i'll just send the message to google flow and just wait for the model to actually turn your description into a picture now there is one thing here that is very interesting that actually doesn't make the picture to be as good as in the Gemini platform, particularly because right now, even though it is using Gemini Nano Banana Pro, it's the pro version, it is able to create a 4K or 2K picture, but in reality, it is actually generating a 1K picture. So it has the same resolution as the regular Nano Banana, but at least it is pro so maybe uh, it's, it does it's not really necessary in google flow to actually create a higher resolution picture given that this is basically a video platform video generation platform so the crystal clear picture is not absolutely necessary so that's why it is a bit faster anyway uh, after the picture has been generated and you want to make some changes using the annotation tool you can open the picture by clicking it and after that, you'll see something that look like this. So you can start changing a few things. You can st start selecting the area that you want to modify. So let me give you one example. So let's say I want to remove this glass. So that's actually, a, there is a glass here and that's kind of weird. So I want to remove it. I'm going to select this entire area. And after that, I'm going to uh, tell AI that Oh, sorry, I cannot select that. I have to uh, select it somewhere else. So please remove this glass. And by the way, you can also use different tools. You can uh, change the color of the annotation. But let me just put it here. So just add some. Yeah, it's it's very limited. I mean, once the, it has been created, you cannot edit it again. So you have to make sure that you have to place it exactly where it needs to be now after that i'm going to make maybe this person to be a bit more happy so let's change the facial expression to smiling so here and then let's add some text make her smile and happy something like that okay so that was the instruction and of course you can also use this uh, scrabbling tool but i guess i'm not going to use it now after you're done with annotating the picture uh, you can use this instruction use drawings and annotations to specify changes to this image so let me just repeat use drawings and annotations to specify changes to this image there you go so let me just double check and yep i'm, I'm still using gemini nano banana pro and just send a message and just wait so it is actually creating another variation it will still keep the original picture and by the way you can also just use the arrow without uh, having to use the square uh, the square tool like this so you can just select maybe this object or maybe this object but from my 
experience usually if you're adding this it's going to be to make the editing to be more accurate and precise so perhaps that's one consideration of how you can use this tool with the best outcome possible okay so the picture has been generated there you go so it has removed the glass uh, let me just undo because we want to remove the arrows arrows okay this is the original picture this is the modified version it, she's she's not smiling but now she's smiling and then the glass has been removed so yeah that's basically it and you can download the picture to your computer just click download and you'll get the jpeg version of the picture it is not 2k picture unfortunately it is just 1k but at least it is using the pro version and we have this nice tool to easily modify the picture so yeah that's essentially how you can generate and modify a photo using gemini nano banana pro via google flow thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.